Mm -hmm. Let's discuss uh, the English Civil War first. So tell me, please, when it started. Uh, in, 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 uh, English Civil War started in 1642. Okay, yeah, and uh, uh, why it is important for us uh, when uh, we study about uh, uh, John Melton and his Paradise Lost? Why? What is the importance of civil war for John Melton and uh, for his Paradise Lost? Hmm? He was. Uh, he, mm -hmm. was he was in the army. Yeah, so, and he lived at that time. And uh, the English Civil War greatly changed uh, his uh, understanding of the events. Uh, and uh, that is why. Uh, he wrote uh, his uh, work. Yeah? So, okay, yeah. could you please explain who were the parts uh, or who were the participants uh, of uh, the Civil War? Mm -hmm. uh, the participants uh, of English Civil War, war were uh, Charles Frost, uh, Oliver Cromwell, uh, Prince uh, Rupert, and Thomas Fairfax. Yeah, but uh, the main, there were two parties uh, and uh, one party was led by Charles I, the king. They were royalists, they were called royalists. And the other part was called uh, the Roundheads and it was led by Oliver Cromwell. Okay, yeah. so what really happened at that time? Please read this part. Mm -hmm. Charles I left London in 1642 to find support against parliament. England split into two sides, Cavaliers and Roundheads. Cavaliers supported Charles I and Roundheads supported Parliament. And the pictures below show some famous Roundheads and Cavaliers. Yeah, so here are the famous uh, Roundheads. Uh, this one is, uh, or oh, the famous Roundheads and Cavaliers. Uh, uh, this is Charles the first. First, the first. This is... Uh, yeah. Oliver Cromwell. Uh -huh. mm. who, was, uh, this, who was the head of the parliament uh, and the head of the roundheads. Uh, then this is... Uh, Prince Rupert. Rupert. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. he was uh, the supporter of Charles I. And finally, mm -hmm, Thomas, Thomas Fairfax, Fairfax, who supported uh, Cromwell's army. Yeah? Okay, yeah, and uh, uh, let's uh, talk about civil war in general. Huh? Who was uh, Charles the mm First? -hmm. Uh, Charles the First started the English Civil War in 1642. Uh, Parliament uh, stayed uh, in um, London. London. Mm -hmm. in, in England was split into uh, into two sides. Yeah, so the civil war started, and it was very unusual. Yeah? because uh, the parliament uh, rebelled uh, against the king. We know that uh, England is, uh, or Britain, uh, the United Kingdom is a constitutional monarchy. It means that uh, constitution uh, greatly restricts uh, the rights of the king. And this is uh, how the constitutional monarchy developed. Okay, yeah. what happened then? Charles I relied on his cousin, Prince Rupert, to help lead uh, the Cavalier army. Royalists uh, saw Prince uh, Rupert as a hero after the Battle of Anshill. Yeah, so, and uh, Prince uh, Rupert was uh, helping Charles I, uh, and that was one side. Uh, on the other side, there was Oliver Cromwell with round heads. Uh, tell me please about them. Uh. Uh, Oliver Cromwell helped to lead the uh, uh, Roundhead Army. Cromwell trained uh, the new model army to fight the Cavaliers after the Battle of Angel Hill. Uh -huh. And uh, finally, Thomas Fairfax uh, became the uh, Lord uh, General of the new model army. Cromwell and Fairfax won the battles of um, uh, Marston Moon and uh -huh. Nace. Okay. The king was captured in 1648 and the civil war stopped. Yeah, so and actually that was uh, the time when Milton, John Milton lived uh, 
and uh, when he uh, wrote uh, his uh, book. So talking about Paradise Lost, uh, what is uh, the story about uh, and uh, who was uh, John Melton? Let's start with John Melton first. Mm -hmm. uh, John Milton uh, was born into a uh, bourgeois class um, he proclaimed that he would write a great English epic. Um, and uh, he self-appointed a prophetic broad, and he studied, uh, studied independently for six years. Uh -huh. He strongly supported the, the Puritan Reformation. Uh, also, Milton wrote uh, with strong independence and on a variety of topics, uh, such as church government, uh, divorce, and republicanism. Mm -hmm. He suffered many tragedies. Yeah, so if uh, we talk about uh, John Melton, uh, we will see that uh, Melton uh, was a person uh, who was greatly educated. Uh, it was the age of enlightenment, uh, so the new age, uh, when uh, new ideas were spreading, and uh, he started to be a priest. However, he finally wrote uh, the poem, the epic poem, Paradise Lost, and uh, became one of the most powerful, uh, mm -hmm, uh, one of the most powerful uh, uh, writers and poems of the time. So what other epic poem have we already discussed? What, uh, what was the epic poem that uh, we discussed before? Um, Beowulf. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the main uh, mm -hmm, epic poem was Beowulf, but this epic poem greatly differs. Uh, let's uh, talk about the sources uh, of this poem. The sources of Paradise Lost are uh, Homer's Iliad and Odyssey, uh, Virgil's uh, um, Aeneid, and, and, and the Bible book of Genesis. We see that uh, this is the time of enlightenment. Uh, enlightenment means uh, mm -hmm, lighting uh, your mind, uh, prosvещение, uh, prosвитnство. And uh, it, uh, we see that uh, all uh, ancient authors, uh, all authors uh, that uh, were really famous in uh, ancient Greece uh, now became famous again. So with the help of these authors, uh, with the help of uh, Homer and Virgil, uh, he resort uh, the Bible and uh, he rewrote uh, the Bible uh, as uh, an epic poem. Okay, yeah. so what is the structure of the poem? Mm, there are 12 uh, books. Okay, yeah, yeah. so the, there are 12 books uh, and uh, in each of the books, uh, mm -hmm. uh, what do they uh, what uh, what do they uh, discuss in each of the book? Mm, it's a, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. They discuss uh, uh, the story of um, um, of the battle between uh, God and angel uh, and Satan with his um, uh, rebel angels and uh, the story of uh, creation um, and uh, the story of uh, Adam and Eve. Yeah, so we see that uh, all uh, these parts, uh, they uh, bring us uh, to one big story, the story of creation, then Adam and Eve uh, uh, are tempted by the Saturn, then the Saturn, so and uh, uh, here angels uh, start the war, and uh, finally uh, we have the world as we have today. Yeah? Okay, yeah? so good. Uh, what is uh, the type of narration? And it's, um... mm -hmm. it's a third person narration. Uh, it's a third person narration. So, uh, where, what is the setting of the story? It is a paradise. Yeah, heavens and uh, paradise. 
enter the time. Mm. It's uh, the time of creation. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The time of creation. It's uh, the beginning of everything. If we compare this time to Milton's time, uh, the Enlightenment uh, was seen as the beginning of new time, the beginning of new era. We can see that uh, here, he also echoed uh, the era he lived in. Okay, yeah. so uh, what, who are the protagonists? Three classes of angels and huh? um, they, uh, they, um, they supported uh, God. Uh, uh -huh. Michael, Raphael. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, so. then, uh -huh. Uriel. Yeah, yeah. So the three classes of angels uh, that supported God. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, who is uh, the antagonist? The antagonists are Satan and uh, the rebel angels. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. They are the Satan and uh, the rebel angels. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we see the main key characters uh, of uh, the story. Huh? So they are uh, the God who creates uh, the sun. Mm -hmm. There is also Adam. Mm -hmm. He is created, but is uh, he's lesser than the angels, and. Uh, also, there is the Satan, who was the angel as well, but he became the Lucifer. So the Satan has two children. Who are they here? Sin and death. Yeah, they are sin and death. And they forever stay here with the mankind. So God creates the sun, but also there is Adam. Uh, who represents mankind. And uh, there is Eve, who is given as the partner. And here in this character, we see the attitude uh, of the time to women. What was the attitude to women? How does Eve represent the attitude to women of that time? Uh, the women was um, a, uh, as a partner of a uh, man, um, and um, it um, uh, she was uh, equal uh, to Adam. Uh -huh. No, and she was equal when she was there, but after they leave uh, the paradise uh, and after they uh, mm -hmm, come to earth, uh, she has to be obedient uh, to her husband. Uh, and and she has to be significant. Yeah, very good. Uh, and her husband has uh, to earn the living. So he earns the living. He becomes the bread maker. And Eve, as a partner, becomes uh, his subordinate. Uh, okay, yeah, these were the main characters. Uh, and uh, now let's uh, look uh, at the storyboard uh, and uh, tell what happened uh, at that time. Please stop. Adam uh, awakes, Eve was uh, restless. Both had a disturbing dreams that followed the tree of knowledge through voices. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and uh, like something happens, something bad uh, happens, uh, and, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and then Angel takes food of forbidden tree. The angel tells uh, Eve that if she takes food from the forbidden tree as well, she will be like the gods. This is a, a very hard uh, offer for Eve to deny. Yeah, but uh, uh, actually, mm -hmm, uh, the God, two, mm -hmm. God speaks to uh, uh, Raphael. 
and to God tells Raphael to tell Adam of the danger in store for him. Yeah, so uh, there is a tree of knowledge, uh, and from the tree of knowledge, uh, Eve needs to take the fruit, uh, and the God knows that she will take the fruit. Uh, so Raphael tells Adam uh, that nothing good will happen to them uh, after she has taken the fruit. Uh, she takes the fruit, uh, and uh, then uh, the mankind will suffer. Yeah? So the God knows uh, that the future will be not really bright. Mm -hmm. Next time. So, yeah, so uh, Raphael uh, arrives in paradise. Adam and Eve are extremely wel welcoming to Raphael. They want to listen to him and hear about his life. Yeah, so they welcome Raphael and uh, Raphael tells them uh, what will happen. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, Raphael speaks to the people uh, he describes the composition of all the things God created. This includes an order of most substance, spirit, animals, and that man is the highest on earth due to his God-given power. Yeah, so here also the question of creation and uh, who is more important uh, is raised. Uh, and uh, Raphael tells uh, the structure of mankind. Uh, and finally... Mm -hmm, uh, Raphael explains that all the angels uh, used to be obedient to God Almighty. Uh, Satan was once an angel, but was angry at the fact that um, God begot a son and lost his uh, healing. Yeah, so, and uh, after that, uh, we see that uh, Eva finally, she, mm -hmm, gets, she takes the apple, they eat the apple, and... Uh, after all this, uh, mm -hmm, they here are like here. Yeah? Satan falls to hell, then Eve and Adam are created. Uh, then mm -hmm, we see that uh, after the war uh, and after they have already taken, they fall into the scene. Yeah? Uh, here, uh, what happens? Uh, the angels have a war. Adam and Eve quarrel, and uh, but they see that uh, the prophecy will uh, show that, or the prophecy showed them uh, that uh, the humankind will survive. Uh, they see the prophecy of Noah and flood uh, the flood, uh, the prophecy of Moses and uh, how he will bring people to the new land, uh, then uh, the sons of God. Uh, and uh, finally, they go to the world uh, and uh, they uh, stay in the world that we have. Huh? So this is uh, the plot uh, of the story. And it's also important to remember that uh, there are main themes here. Mm -hmm. Let's discuss them. Theme number one, justice. Huh? Mm -hmm. What is, uh, how, how is justice represented uh, in uh, this work? Uh, for example, uh, God uh, tells us uh, that uh, there are no justice to Adam and Eve after they fallen. Yeah, this is, this is very symbolic uh, of the English mentality. There are the rules, and if you break the rules, uh, there is uh, no good justice for you. Yeah? So, good. Uh, next uh, is uh, knowledge and ignorance. Uh, no, uh, there, uh, there is three of knowledge and uh, if um, you uh, take uh, fruit from this um, tree, you can uh, see this knowledge. And uh, God wants uh, people uh, not uh, to take these fruits and uh, they, uh, they to, uh, to be uh, ig ignorant. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, there is also a choice uh, that humanity has. Uh, you can be happy and ignorant uh, or the knowledge uh, that you will take uh, will bring you sorrows and problems. Uh, and uh, she chooses... Uh, to get this knowledge instead of being happy and ignorant. It also shows us that, uh, yeah, so you can, you can uh, know more, but not always this knowledge brings you happiness. Huh? Okay, yeah? 
Next is, uh, uh, again, knowledge and ignorance, uh, they are connected with choices and consequences. Uh, yeah? So how, how can we connect them? Mm. Uh, that um, uh, people have a choice, and um, uh, for example, Adam and Eve um, uh, um, could um, uh, um, be obedient to God and uh, um, remain uh, and remain in um, uh, paradise, but uh, they uh, chose um, knowledge, so they fell and uh, suffered from uh, earth uh, problems. Very good. And. Uh... This is your own responsibility. Yeah. So it's uh, not God's choice. It's not the government's choice. It's your own choice. So you're responsible for the consequences. And uh, it is closely connected with freedom. Uh, you are free to make your choices. Uh, and uh, your choices uh, will determine how you will live. Good. Uh, mm -hmm. Obedience. Uh, uh, people must be obedient uh, to God, uh, and uh, after falling, uh, 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 all women uh, uh, must have been obedient uh, to um, their husbands. Perfect. Yeah, so obedience is important, uh, uh, but uh, again, uh, to a certain extent, uh, uh, because uh, you still can have your own choices uh, and uh, the consequences of them. Uh, and uh, finally, the human condition. Um, at the end of the story, um, uh, 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 Michael uh, um, shows a uh, um, vision um, where uh, Adam uh, can see the future of uh, humans, and uh, we see that uh, human will save. Um, and by uh, uh, the sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, we see that um, uh, the human condition is uh, greatly uh, a consequence of what happened. But uh, what will happen is uh, also the matter of your choices. And uh, if you have knowledge and uh, you do or your choices are good, uh, probably you will survive uh, and uh, the condition will not uh, be that bad. Okay, here. Yeah. So in general, why is uh, the story so important? Why here, yeah, when we think about uh, the story, we or wh why it is uh, so much uh, well known and uh, why, what is uh, mm -hmm, the gist of the story? Why, uh, why do people talk a lot about this story? How do you think? I think at first because it contains the version of uh, Bible uh, actions and um, it um, has relation with uh, real uh, historic um, actions. Mm -hmm. and, um, it uh, contains um, important themes uh, that uh, are actual and uh, in our times. Yeah, so, and uh, the characters here, these main characters, uh, they here are not the characters from the Bible anymore. Yeah? They are living people. They are the people who talk, who have their feelings, uh, uh -huh, who have their relations, uh, and uh, this people, uh, they uh, make Bible, uh, the book uh, that is closer to us. And again, uh, all this uh, was connected with Milton's time, uh, with English Civil War, uh, and uh, with uh, the Protestant Revolution. When uh, people started uh, to think uh, a lot about uh, the church, uh, the role of the church, uh, the role of religion and, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, at that time, the story was written. Mm -hmm. 